Okay, again, it's four game season. We gotta do what we wanna do the last four games. This is the first step. Tonight, don't let anybody stand in our way. Play hard, play with energy, play with enthusiasm, have fun out there. At the end of the day, have fun, kick somebody's butt. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Ready to play, Coach Ed Ditchellis has Penn State all fired up as his Nittany Lions hope to survive bubble night here in Columbus against Ohio State. We welcome you to Super Tuesday presented by KFC. It is part of Judgment Week on ESPN. Value City Arena here in Columbus. Check out the Big Ten standings. They will tell you the story. No doubt about the top, but it is the middle where the battle is being waged for those bids in the upcoming NCAA tournament. Welcome everybody with Steve Lavin. I'm Brad Musburger. Well, Steve, when it comes to the NCAA and the Big Ten, three teams are in solid shape, Michigan State, Purdue, and Illinois, but everybody else is playing bubbleicious. Folks, you cannot afford an extended losing spree. Well, and that's the challenge for Thad Mata and the Buckeyes, Brent, currently in a three-game skid. They need to snap out in a hurry. They sit at seven and seven in the Big Ten Conference in danger of falling below 500. Tonight is a must win against the pesky spirited Nittany Lions. We got a couple of players in this contest that we think should make the first team all Big Ten team. Well, and both these are candidates for Big Ten Player of the Year as well. Diminutive in size, but Taylor Battle with a big game, Brent, a playmaker and shot maker. And on the flip side for the Buckeyes, Evan Turner at 6'7 with the versatility to take you inside or out. And Steve joining Battle up front, of course, is his running mate Stanley Pringle. Homecoming for Jamel Cornley. And David Jackson will start up front along with Andrew Jones. The Nittany Lions a little undersized. The big change here for the Buckeyes. P.J. Hill moves in as the starter at the point. Buford, Diebler, Turner, and Dallas Lauderdale. And uh, Aaron Andrews, uh, how many tickets did Jamel Cornley have to have tonight? The native son returns home, and what a great storyline surrounding Jamel Cornley tonight. Brent, 350 fans in the stands tonight cheering him on. And, you know, he grew up a diehard Buckeye fan, maybe something that will always be the little chip on his shoulder. He was never recruited by the Buckeyes. Former head coach Jim O'Brien felt like it's a little undersized to be a post player here at Ohio State. And when Thad Mata got the job, he was already rec recruiting guys like Mike Conley Jr., Greg Oden, Daquan Cook. Talked to Jamel about it earlier today, and he said, look, what's in the past is in the past. I just want to get a win for my team and put on a show for my family and friends. Should be a good scene behind that friend, bench, friend. All his family are right there. Got a good shot of his brother as Ed Hightower tosses it up, and Hill will bring it and down. Steve attributes. A quick shot there over a bigger defender. Simmons driving, going to the left hand, and it was like the Blue Sea parting. And then the Lions gave way to the drive by the junior college transfer. Gave way as the starting point guard here tonight, so he'd like to win that job back. Evan Turner has been very quiet. 